Stop momentarily and just take this in. Because it's a really, it's a classic little spot. If you can't fit there, come down here a bit. You can fit down here and stuff. Yeah, it's all good. There's a place for everybody and stuff. Yeah. Now, I'd rather talk to you guys about trekking. If you guys want to walk through the morning, you're welcome. Thank you. Alright. I'm going to look at how to talk to you guys about trekking. I've taken loads and loads of you guys in the rain for a couple of years. I'm sleeping hammocks. See what I mean? Okay, and you, look, you drape a tarpaulin. Um, over, your, over your head and stuff, over your, over your hammock and stuff, and that's how you can stay dry yeah. and things, yeah? But um, I know we've got the footpath here, we're all standing here and stuff, but look, when you look over there, use your imagination a bit, see? So imagine that you've come across this place in the middle of the rainforest, and, and there's no, no people watching you. The point is, cassowary birds, I've seen them loads of times walking down the creek and stuff. You've got platypus, okay? The best place to see a platypus is in crystal clear water. So if you go swimming in this, I promise you, you've got half a chance of seeing a platypus in the the root systems too, briefly, lake-like structures coming off the base of trees. You can get huge big ones as well. They absorb oxygen. That's what's going on. They don't help trees stand up, that's all. And look, don't forget to look up as well. This is what's called a complex mesophyll vine forest. It's got a, a 50 metre canopy. And look, I haven't said this, there's so much to tell you. The, 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 physically, the physical age of a rainforest, the older physically that a piece of rainforest is, yeah, generally speaking, the more complex that rainforest has become over time. See, so young rainforests that are growing back after being damaged are simple. They've got few species in. Old rainforests like this have got loads of species in. You can have 110, 120 different species of tree in a single hectare. My days of living in a tent and being wet constantly are well and truly over, mate. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. I've been there, done that. You can also see evidence of gastra, all this all this stuff, yeah, okay, that's where the water so the water was coming over the footpath with gastra, to give you an idea. You know, don't forget to look up. Look at all the vines up there. It takes forever for these things. And again, look at this. Yeah, the buttress root systems again you've got there. You know, they are, I try to get you better ones. They're called, they're called um, candlestick ferns, those guys there that are growing there. They're all just names. There are 2,200 species of plant here. Okay, there's about 10% of the world's species of plant here. There's about 750 species of tree, to give you an idea. And I am not a botanist. All right? No? You're good? I hope you got the sound turned off. Left hand side, there's a cycad. Go and swing to your, go and swing to your left. That's a big cycad. That cycad grows four to five centimetres a year. This is the only, and I don't understand. You just step forward. These guys are just yeah, coming through. Watch, through. watch your wallets, everybody. They look a bit suspicious <laughs> if you ask me. Good on you. Good on you. Oh, just, just like, you know what I mean. Good on you. But look, I don't understand the significance, but I'm going to communicate it to you anyway, yeah? This is the only place in the world that you've got all three families of cycads. Okay, that's a rainforest cycad. You can see it's ribbed. Looks a weird looking thing. You'd expect a dinosaur to be standing next to that, yeah? But grows three to five centimetres a year, so it's fairly old. You can't tell the age of trees in the rainforest too by their size. Trees don't have seasonal rings. Okay, that occurs in the northern hemisphere. This is a, this is a, this is a tropical, tropical rainforest and stuff. And two trees, same, same age, same species. One tree's a kilometre, they're a kilometre apart, but one tree's got twice as much sunshine, twice as many nutrients as the other one. It's twice the height, they're the same age, you see. So it's just really hard. Mosman Gorge, if you're in the old trees, just wait to the Mosman Gorge. There are some really, really good trees. There are trees there well over a thousand years old, I reckon, in the gorge. All right. Now, remember, rainforests are changing. That's important. See the difference here? No canopy when you walk through here. Look how, you know, you could walk through that bit of rainforest like there was off the footpath before. And that's when I say trekking and stuff. You do pick your line when you're trekking because you can't trek through this. Okay? And this is an example of a piece of rainforest that's repairing itself. Okay? We've had a, we've had a cyclone. The trees have gotten knocked out. Lots of sunshine's coming through. So we've got a group of plants that call fire.